This animal is saying hello. There's its eyes, and it's got these antennae that it uses to sense its environment. My name is Kristen Aquilino, and I manage the White Abalone Captive Breeding Program for the UC Davis Bodega Marine Lab and for the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. We now have more baby white abalone here in captivity in this lab than probably exist in the wild. And that's both really scary for the wild population, but also presents a really great opportunity to save them. And so if you look right here, you can see some of these babies. They're just covering the tank. And every year we've gotten more and more of them. Um, they're so adorable. They're doing so well. And we're so excited to grow them up so that way we can put them out in the wild someday and help save their species. These are some of our 2014 animals. They're about two and a half years old, and they're just starting to get to the size where they might be ready for outplanting. And that's some of the work we're doing in the wild with some of our partners at California Department of Fish and Wildlife and other agencies trying to figure out what's the best way to get these animals back out into the wild. So I'm gonna pull one off for you here and see if we can get a look at the animal. We have to be really, really careful when handling abalone because they're hemophiliacs, which means their blood doesn't clot. So if we cut them at all, then they probably won't make it. But I did a good job with this one. So this is an animal about two and a half years old. It's got that big shell on top that abalone have, and it's got a series of pores that cover its gills. And here's this little face looking out at you, ready to save its species. Getting these animals back out in the wild is really important. Um, they're, they're important for our culture, they're important for our economy, and we are the reason for their demise, so we have a responsibility to save them. It's gonna be really exciting to see them back out in their natural habitat.